In this uh, particular sketch of a gorilla, we can see that there is a depth of shade and time and contrast. Hatching and cross-hatching methods have been applied upon the face to um, accentuate the three-dimensional form. It's a very beautiful graphic image and uh, reminiscent of um, the movie Skull Island, one of my favourite films. Um, here we can also see an image by Pablo Picasso of um, a lady. Her face is quite calm. However, compare it to Picasso's Weeping Woman uh, image, which is very gruesome and not dissimilar from the gorilla image that we um, looked at earlier on. Uh, here we can see a contrast in the depth and uh, the thickness of the eye on the right hand side and to the left. Pablo Picasso was famous indeed for propagating and forwarding and um, implementing and to a degree inventing the um, art form cubism where images of three-dimensional objects as well as people were viewed from different angles and superimposed upon the page. How relevant one might ask, um, is uh, that today in the world of modern art, when we see so much technology um, coming into play, um, and uh, what one may think uh, is original through looking at the works of the masters, you know, may have already been covered. So what's the purpose of art in that regard? Um, how, I mean, Culturally, and um, you know, from looking at from an educational viewpoint, we do understand that here within England, at least, and within the West, uh, artists like Pablo Picasso are looked at. Studies Andy Warhol and Vincent van Gogh, even Gauguin, all have a place in the educational um, learning of a of an art student at school, where they have to learn about other artists. So. Um, this does become a part of their understanding of what art is in, within their own mindset and that forms their opinion or their purpose possibly influences them if they are to take art uh, as um, uh, an educational venture in their future uh, you know, practice as an artist, you know, it will have an effect and um, we can't avoid it unless we decide to, of course. But the point here is, is that the purpose of art and um, the human interaction with art um, needs to be questioned, especially for the artists themselves and the teachers of art, such as us art school teachers or schools such as us school teachers. Um, we have to look at um, we have to look at the reasons why, and you know the accessibility of um, of the medium, you know, uh, to the pupil, what they can relate to in the way of form and line of uh, of expression as well. Most certainly, most importantly, expression. What does the image mean, and how we to interpret an image, and what makes an image original? All of these things come into mind and come into play. Um, for anyone who's looking to study art, then, you know, please read up on whatever it is that you need to, to 